To make the diagnosis of MS is not always straightforward. So as clinicians, we have to take into account the history, the physical exam findings, the MRI findings, sometimes spinal tap findings. So we have to put everything together. And it, it, sometimes it's straightforward and sometimes it's not. And so um, the field has come up with criteria for MS to help make sure that we are correct and that we're all standard in how we make this diagnosis. It's important to incorporate new technologies as is the case this year, and just to make sure that we're constantly revising our criteria as new data come in and as new science is published. Someone with an existing diagnosis of MS should not expect that diagnosis to be changed with the updated criteria. Um, this is really, I think, for patients who are coming in with a new set of symptoms or being, being evaluated for the diagnosis moving forward, we would expect that some of those patients who may not have met the criteria for MS in the prior versions may meet the criteria now. So the diagnostic process might look a little bit different for patients coming in now.